Hello everybody. I am Wakar Manji from Light Academy Secondary School. Hope you are doing well at home in this tough situation. Today I am here to discuss about the sequence and patterns. It is the part one of sequence and pattern. We will discuss about the sequence and pattern and some activities we will do in this video. So to understand well about the sequence and patterns, let's go further. Yes, sequence and pattern. Let's go for the definition. A sequence and pattern, a sequence is an ordered list of number. Okay, a sequence is an ordered list of a number or other elements like geometric objects okay it can be a number or it can be an object okay but it should be ordered okay that often follow a specific pattern or function it will be in pattern some specific patterns will be there or functions will be there sequences can be both finite and infinite like finite and infinite what we say about the finite and infinite finite like the numbers which can be uh, counted okay you can say it and infinite the number cannot be counted okay sequence can be infinite and can be in infinite in a chain of a number or any other objects that usually follow a particular pattern the individual elements in a sequence are called terms in the sequence the individual elements are called terms so let's go further to go some activities to go some examples to understand its very well. Yes, the subtopic is draw and identify the patterns. The example number one is the numbers are given, okay? 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 23, 22, and 25. So we can go, uh, we can find the next number of, after 25. How we are going to find it? Firstly, we need to check out the uh the pattern here in this sequence okay one four after one the four is coming after four seven is coming and ten is coming like that so here the here is the explanation about this pattern this sequence has a difference of three between each number you can check it out after one four is coming it means three is a difference between one and four after four seven is coming the three is different between four and seven so it is same in all the terms okay so the pattern is continued by adding three to the last number each time like this so on number line they have showed like that one after one it is coming to four after four it's coming to seven after seven it is coming to ten after ten it's coming to thirteen thirteen to sixteen sixteen to nineteen then nineteen to twenty two and twenty two to twenty five so what if we want to find the second num uh, next number after twenty five what we are doing what we are going to do we are adding 3 to 25 so by adding 3 to 25 it will be 28 so by finding the next number in the sequence firstly we go for the difference between two numbers what is the difference between two numbers we go for that and after that we can find uh, the number the next number easily yes the example number two is 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, 33, and 38. So the expression says this sequence has a, a difference of 5 between each number. So if it is says 5, let's check it out here. 3 and 8. The next number is it. You can check it out. The difference is 5. 8 and 13. The difference is 5. 13 and 18. The difference is 5. The pattern is continued by adding 5 to the last number each time like this. You can check 3 by 8, then 8 to 13, then 13 to 18, then 18 to 23, 23 to 28, 28 to 33, and 33 to 38. So if we want to find the next number after 38 by adding 5 to 38, it will give you the number 43. So the next number will be 43. So by uh, checking the difference between two numbers, you can find the next number, the missing number, easily. So there's exercise. 
the question number one is a number is square like this and a number is square like this one shade all the multiples of six then answer the questions after the table so uh, we need to shade all the multiples of six then after that the answer the questions we have some questions right side of the square we are going to find that one okay so the first number is six okay then multiple of six means you go uh, the multiples of six six times one is six six times two is twelve six times three is thirteen like that okay so i have shared all the multiples of six six twelve eighteen twenty four thirty thirty six then forty two then forty eight then 54, then 60, then 66, then 72, then 78, then 84. It goes like that, okay? The multiples of 6. I have found it in this square, okay? So the question number 1, the question number 1 and option A. The option A said, what is the fourth multiple of 6, okay? Fourth multiple of 6. So you can find from here also easily and by multiplying 4 by 6 also you can find that number easily. So from here let's check it out 1, 2, 3 and 4. It means the fourth multiple of 6 is, yes, the fourth multiple of 6 is 24. You can find from the square also and you can find, you can find by multiplying 4 by 6 that gives you the answer 24. The option B is what is the tenth multiple of six? Ten multiplied by six that gives you sixty. Let's go for the solution. Yes, the tenth multiple of six is sixty. You can find from the square also, and by uh, multiplying the number by six, the tenth multiplied by six is sixty. The option C is what is the twelfth multiple of six? So twelve times six is seventy-two. Let's go for the solution. Yes, the twelfth multiplied by twelfth multiple of six is seventy-two. Twelve times six is seventy-two. So the option D is what is the hundredth multiple of six? Yes. So what do we do? Hundred multiplied by six is six hundred. So uh, you cannot find the hundred multiplied by six in this square because we have the limited numbers here by like as i said you can multiply the number by that number six you can get the answer so 100 multiplied by six is 600 okay you got it yes let's go for the next question the next question says the multiple of a number have been shaded on the square what is the number okay so Multiples are shaded in this number. Okay, you can say check it out 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, and 99. So you can check it out which table is this one. Okay, it goes in the sequence. Okay, 11, 22, then 33. You can check it out in 11, we get 11, we get 22. In 22, we get we eight 11, we get 33. So what will be the number? The number will be. The number will be 11, okay? Because you, you can check it out. These all are the multiples of 11. So the number is 11. Yes. Let's go further. Copy each statement about, the, about these multiples and write down the numbers that go in the spaces. Yes, the option A. The third multiple of dash, the third multiple of fill in the blanks is dash, okay? So we need to find these dashes what numbers are coming in this one okay the third multiple of number number is you can check it out number is 11 so 11 will come here the third multiple of 11 you can check it out the multiples of first second and third it means the third multiple of 11 is 33 you can check it out here we go we, go, we got the answer okay the third multiple of 11 is 33 the ninth multiple of uh, multiple of 11 because we got the number what is the number number is 11 the ninth multiple of 11 is 99 yes the 200 multiple of 11 is the 200th multiple of 11 is 2000 2200 you cannot find from the square but when you multiply 200 by 11 it gives you 2200 so the option d is the nth multiple of 
days is 66. So we need to find this number and this number. We know this number, this number is 11. So this number is 11. So we need to find 11 is multiplied by what number to get 66. By getting this number, we divide 66 by 11. So it gives you 6. Okay. So the sixth multiple of 11 is 66. Option E the nth multiple of dash is 303 so this number is 11 you know and by multiplying what number we got 330 let's go for the yes the 30th multiple multiple of 11 is 333 by multiplying 30 by 11 you will get 333 you can check it out by using calculator next question is question number three and option a option a is explain why 12 is a multiple of six and four so we need to explain this 12 why it is 12 why this 12 is multiple of six and four let's go further for the solution yes solution is because when you check the multiple of six and four you will observe 12 in both of the multiples in six and four that's why 12 is a multiple of 6 and 4. So when you check out the multiples of 6 and 4, the first multiple of 6 is 6, second is 12, third is 18, fourth is 20, 24. So the second multiple of 6 is 12. It means 12 is the multiple of 6. When you check the 4, the first multiple of 4 is 4, then 8, then 12. So check it out. In both the multiples, in the multiple of 6, 12 is there. In the multiple of 4, 12 is there. So that's why we say it, 12 is multiple of 6 and 4. Let's go further for the next question. Question number B, is 12 a multiple of any other number? Yes, 12 is also multiple of 2 and 3. Why uh, 12 is a multiple of 2 and 3? You can check. In the multiple of 12 and the multiple of 3, you will find the 12 there. So that's why 12 will be the multiple of 2 and 3 also. The question number C is the number 24 is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 3. What are the numbers? Is it a multiple of? So we need to find the numbers. Uh, 24 is multiple of what are the numbers? Let's go for the. Yes, the solution is the number 24 is a multiple of 2. 3, 4, 6, 8, and 12. So 2 and 3 already they have given and they were asking the other numbers. The other numbers are 4, 6, 8, and 12. So when you check the multiples of 4, 4 times 6 is 24. It means yes, 12, 4, 24 is there. Then 6, 6 times 4 is 24. Yes, 24 is there. Then 8, 8 times 3 is 24. Yes, 24 is there. 12 times 2 is 24. Yes. 24 is there. It means the other multiples of 24 are 4, 6, 8, and 12. Hope you're getting it. Okay. Yeah, you, you go for the practice. Okay. You have the questions in the, your book. Just uh, go for a book and check some questions about the sequence and pattern and try to solve it. Next question is the question is two multiple of a number have been shaded on this and this number this is square and option a is asking what is the number okay just they have given two numbers and we are going to find the number what is that number okay it is 65 and 91 so the number we are going to find which can divide both the numbers 65 and 91 okay so what number could be okay you can check it out this is the odd number 65 is the odd number and 91 is also odd number so check it out which number is going to divide both the numbers the option a is yes the number is 13 so why i have taken the number 13 because when you divide 65 it is divided by 6 13 when you divide 91 by 13 it is divided by 13 so that's why the number will be 13 we can check from the square 13 then the next number will be 26, then 39, then 52. 
page 52 yes 52 then 65 like that you check here you, you understand like if you go for the multiple of 13 you will find the 65 there the next number will be 91 so that's why the number will be 13 it, these are the multiples of 13 yes what is the 19th option b is what is the 19th multiple of this number the 13th yes the 19th multiple of this number is 247 so when you multiply 19 by 13 you will get 247 by multiplying 13 by 19 you will get 247 okay hope you understand it well <laughs>